basically what we described in, in these problems, ladies and gentlemen, is um, when we're looking at a problem like this, guys, the main important thing is following the rules that you know with multiplication. 3 times x. So when you have distributed property, you multiply the 3 times the x and the 3 times the negative 4. So you're, we're doing the same thing. We're doing 2. We're doing 2 square root of 5 times 3 square root of 3. We're doing positive 2 square root of 5 times negative square root of 5. Now, we have showed, we have showed problems. You have examples of how to multiply. When we multiply, we simply simplify first or multiply. Well, there's nothing really I can simplify here. So remember, we multiply the number, the radicands, and we multiply the numbers outside. 2 times 3 is 6. six. 5 times 3 is 15. But those are under the radical, and so they remain under the radical. Plus, I don't have anything 2 times negative 1, so that now becomes a negative 2. And, square root of, and 5 times 5 is the square root of 25. Now, can I simplify this any further? Sure. Yeah, I can take the square root of 25, which is 5. So my final answer, I'll write this as negative 5 plus 6 square root of 15. I'm just switching those around and making sure that 5, oops, I'm sorry, that's 10, right? So it's negative 10 plus 6 square root of 5, 15. Okay. You cannot multiply your coefficients to your radicands. You can't multiply three to I never multiplied a num oh are you saying like this? Okay. So what this came the way that this came about is I did I never multiplied it inside. What is the square root of twenty five? Five. Your question would be like, to be continued. Your question would be like, exactly, that's why you have to shut the door. So. Uh